What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to The Minority Mindset where we help you rethink rich at theminoritymindset.com It's election day. I don't talk a lot about politics on this channel because for one, we are a financial channel and for two, I don't know a ton about politics. Okay, I like to talk about things that I know about and I have no problem talking about that and I try to avoid the things that I don't know about. But I want to talk about the election today because no matter who wins, whenever we find out who wins, it is going to be crazy no matter what. I have never really been into politics, but politics has become so heated now that it feels like no matter what you do, it's politicized. So it's like one of those things where nowadays, no matter what you do, you are involved in politics in one way or another. But when I was in college, I didn't even know what the difference between a Democrat and a Republican was. But now it's gotten to the point where everyone thinks they're right and if you disagree with me, you should not be my friend, you should not talk to me, and you should not even exist. Like, scroll through your Facebook feed. You cannot go through Facebook for more than 30 seconds now without seeing these long political rants of people telling you how they feel. They're gonna spit this in your face, and if you don't agree with what they feel, then you might as well just unfriend them now. This is not a video of me telling you not to have political beliefs or to not really care about what's going on in politics but more of understanding what's practical. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I know this is gonna trigger a lot of people because everybody's on edge right now. Your president is not gonna make racism go away. Your president is not gonna end world hunger. Your president is not gonna end poverty. It's just not possible. But once the results roll in and we find out who the next president is, half the country is gonna lose their minds and it might get really nasty. But as a minority mindset thinker, I want you to rethink how you look at this for a minute. I'm not saying don't vote, okay? You should, you should go vote. This is your right as a citizen, as an American to vote. Exercise your right, let your voice be heard. But what I'm saying is rethink the way you look at the world and how you think the world needs to be changed. A lot of people, you know what? They put all their eggs in someone else's basket. They think, okay, this new president needs to come in or this president needs to stay here to fix the world. So this person needs to fix my world for me. That's what political campaigning is all about. It's catering to your emotions and making you feel like change is gonna come and making you hope that things are gonna get better. Every president has done it, yet we still have racism, we still have famine, we still have poverty, we still have hunger, we still have injustice, we still have a lack of education. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't something that's only happening in America, okay? These things are happening all across the world. And some countries, or a lot of countries, are way worse than America when it comes to hunger and poverty and famine and racism. If you haven't seen other parts of the world that are less developed, America at least has the resources to fight these issues and address them while other parts of the world don't. No country in the world is perfect, and America has a lot to improve on. But the thing that America has different than a lot of places is opportunity. You have the opportunity to make change, to make a great life for yourself, and to make a better life for other people. The thing that I don't wanna see is people getting sucked into the system of thinking, oh, there are these problems that are happening in the world and you or somebody else needs to come in and fix these problems for me. That's why I want you to rethink what happens if the person you want to win doesn't. This doesn't just apply to politics, but there's a lot of things in life that we cannot control. I mean, it's just facts. And if you are stressing and you are losing your mind and you are completely worrying over these things that you have no control over, you are wasting your time. That's why I want you to look at things practically. Life is short. We have a limited amount of time on this earth. And if certain things mean a lot to you, like if you care about poverty and you care about hungry people, then I want you to work to become wealthy yourself. That way you have the resources to create jobs for these people. And that way you have the resources to go out and feed hungry people. And that way you have the resources to create systems so there is less poverty in the world. If you care about the environment, then change your personal habits first and then start educating other people about why it's important. If you care about racism and you wanna fight racism, become successful yourself so people have no choice but to listen to you and then teach people. Politicians at the end of the day have the goal of selling you hope and selling you the perception of change because that's what's gonna get them elected. But if you really, really, really wanna see change, then you can't be losing your mind when something doesn't go your way. That's a part of life. You gotta keep wanting to make the change and start that initiative and make that change happen yourself. Fight people just because they have a different belief than you leads to conflict, it leads to war, it leads to injustice, and it leads to nothing getting done. One thing that almost all successful people and smart people have in common is an open mind. They learn to let go of their ego because that's the only thing that's going to take them to the next level because the more you learn about something, the more you realize you don't know anything. When I was in college and I was running these event planning businesses and I was making 
10, maybe $20,000 a month max. I thought I knew everything about business. I thought I was a business genius. But now as I'm building a real business and as I'm growing and our revenues are growing, I'm realizing I have a lot to learn and I know nothing about building a business because there's so much more to it than what I knew. Now I have to hire people smarter than me that can teach me things that I don't know and do things that I don't know how to do. If this was me back when I was in college, I would have told you no way because I had this hard head. I had the ego of the closed mindedness where I thought I knew everything because I had a little bit of success. I knew a little bit, so I thought I knew everything. And it's harder now than ever before just because of the way the internet and social media works. If you're on social media or the internet and you research anything polarizing, taxes, capitalism, vaccines, and you look into any side of these things, immediately the internet is going to get that and social media and the internet are going to present you with more and more content. They're going to take you down this rabbit hole of only one side of information. That way your brain is just fed with only this one side of information and you're bombarded with it. That way you kind of just assume and believe that this is the only right way to look at things. This is the only right way to look at taxes. This is the only the right way to look at the world. Now, anybody who tells you something contrary to what you believe is an idiot because you know everything. It's okay to have strong beliefs when you're educated about the topic, but when you're not actually educated about it, you'll just become a blind sheep that's just following the system. And it doesn't matter what it is now, whether it's just money or politics, if you're just a blind sheep following the system, this is where problems are created. You already know the problems of being a sheep when it comes Comes to money. I have tons of videos talking about it on our YouTube channel, but now with politics it's an even different issue because people are basing their well-being and their happiness and their success based on someone else who, who is in the White House. When in reality you have to ask yourself, how big of a change is it going to make to your life? Are your bills going to change? Is your housing payment going to change? Is your family going to change? If you're upset about something, good. Use it as fuel to make change and make the world better. Don't use it as like fuel to sit there on your sofa, shirtless, eating Twinkies, starting these Facebook wars with people who have different beliefs than you. The heat in this country is way too high and we need to come together and understand that most people at the core just want to be happy and they want to be successful. And at the end of the day, we're all human beings. So we need to come together and work together that we can achieve these common goals because if we're just fighting each other for little different beliefs, we're never going to get anywhere. If we can start coming together as civilized humans, even when we have disagreements, we will all be able to live a much richer life and this does not depend on who is in the White House. This depends on how we act as humans. It starts with you. Do your part. Vote. Make your voice heard. But don't ruin your life over something that you cannot control. Instead, if something doesn't go your way, do something to make the world a better place because you have that power to make that change.